Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to do something really fun. We're going to get out the Joe Tisserie once again. And for those of you that have been following along with us for a long time, quite some time ago we made a drunken pineapple a la mode. But today we're going to really take that guy to the next level. We're going to do what I'm going to call a Dizzy Joe pineapple. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is put together an injection for our pineapple. And what I'm starting out here with is in my measuring cup, I've got one quarter cup of orange juice. And I'm going to add one quarter cup of this Bacardi Gold rum. And then we're going to add one quarter of a cup of Grand Marnier, which is an orange cognac. It's really good. I'm going to mix that up. And then we're going to put it in our injector and we're going to inject it into our pineapple. Okay, I'm going to take my pineapple and I'm just going to cut the top off of it to start with, just like that. And we're going to stand her back up. And I'm just going to take this injector and go right down. I'm going to go kind of off the one side to start with. We're going to push that in there as deep as we can and get every bit of that injection into this pineapple and there's a good bit of it. We've got like three quarters of a cup so we're just going to kind of slowly inject that all the way around and get it all in there. And I've just learned a little trick in this process. Set your pineapple on a paper towel and set a paper towel across the top of your pineapple and that will help keep it from uh, spewing out and streaming out all over the place as you inject this. So just keep that going and get all of that injected into the pineapple. And when you have all that injected, take your pineapple top and just stick it back on there and use a couple of toothpicks to kind of hold that in place and put this in the refrigerator and let it stay there overnight. Okay, we've let this guy marinate in that rum, orange juice, and Grand Marnier overnight. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to pop the top back off and I'm going to cut the outer shell off of this pineapple. Okay, now that I've got that taken off, we're going to coat this guy with a nice liberal coat of brown sugar. We're just going to pat this on and we're just going to get a good coat of that on there and we're going to put this back in the refrigerator and let that brown sugar just kind of melt its way onto the outer surface of this pineapple and then we'll be back. Okay guys, I've got some charcoal piled up to the back side of the Kamado Joe firebox and I've got two Kamado Joe fire starter cubes up underneath here that I'm going to light up. We're going to let these guys burn with the lid open here for about 10 minutes or so. Okay, after we get our fire going, uh, I'm just going to close the lid and we're going to leave the bottom vent about halfway open on this cook. Uh, I'm not real concerned about a specific temperature here. And on the top vent, I'm just going to open the daisy wheel fully and leave the slider closed. And we're probably just going to keep our temperature at maybe around somewhere between 250 and 300 degrees in the dome. If I need to adjust the temperature down, I will close this daisy wheel up, or if I need to bring it up, I'll open the slider. But I think right here with the daisy wheel mostly open is probably about where we're going to need to be. So I'm going to let the grill come on up to temperature and then we'll get this pineapple on. Okay, our grill's just about warmed up, so I'm going to open it up. I've already got the pineapple on the spit, so we're going to put it right there in the Joe Tessery and I'm going to crank this guy up and let him start rolling and just as it starts turning I'm going to shake on just a little bit of cinnamon onto this as it spins around. Okay and I'm going to close that up and we're just going to let it cook for a while. I'm not sure exactly how long so I'll let you know when we get done. We'll be back to have a look at it shortly. Alrighty, we've been going about 25 minutes or so now, 
So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to baste it with a little bit of that brown sugar glaze that we had still in the bottom of our pan and just keep a little bit of that going on there and we'll come back again in just a little while and hit it with some more of that this smells beautiful I can actually smell that rum so we're gonna let that keep going and we'll be back have a look at it again in another 20 minutes or so okay we've been going about 40 or 45 minutes here this thing's starting to look pretty good, so we're going to give it another quick baste. Man, this thing really does smell amazing. It's not going to be much longer until she's ready to come off, so maybe, maybe 10 or 15 more minutes. Wow, that thing is beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna let this go for a little while longer, and when we come back, we're probably gonna be about ready to pull it off, so we'll see you shortly. Alrighty, we've been going for right out about an hour now. This guy's just about ready, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake just a little bit more cinnamon on the outside of this, and then I'm gonna let it spin for about five more minutes, then I'm gonna take it off, take it inside, and that's where I'll meet you next, and we're going to cut into this guy and have a taste. I really wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. So we'll get a taste of this guy in just a few minutes. Well, guys, you definitely can't smell this. You can't taste it either. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. I am going to uh, get a slice off of this just right out of the middle here. We're going to put it on the plate and see what it tastes like. All righty. We're going to cut a piece off of this uh, around the edge here and see what it tastes like. Man, it smells beautiful. Hmm. Wow. Guys, that is something else. That ain't your mama's pineapple. This is top notch. The Dizzy Joe pineapple on the rotisserie with the orange juice Grand Marnier and golden rum injection brown sugar and cinnamon on the outside wow that's a success a lot of things you can do with this you could take this slice that i just put here put a big slab of ice cream on top of it serve this a la mode you could cut this into spears uh, lots of different ways to serve that so give this a shot uh, let us know what you think join us on facebook facebook.com slash kamado joe follow us on twitter at kamado joe and until next time this is john setzler with kamado joe cooking channel